Twins are fighting, dragons are dying, people are starving, and it's all Alicent Hightower's fault. You heard me right. Everything bad that happened and will happen in House of the Dragon is all because of sweet, innocent Alicent. And a little thing called the butterfly effect. Those of you who are yet to hear of the butterfly effect, it is the idea that a tiny action can result in large impacts for the future. I.e. a butterfly flapping its wings can cause a tornado elsewhere in the world. In our case, Alison is the butterfly and she most definitely did cause this shitstorm that we see in the show. Let's start with something simple. Sir Christian Cole, everyone's favourite to hate character in the show so far. He's short-tempered, a hypocrite, and the leading force of the Greens, especially after his promotion to Hand of the King. He's killed counsellors, made assassination attempts, and trained Aegon to be one of the most formidable warriors at the Greens' disposal. Yet, if it was not for Alison, Sir Christian Cole would be dead. As I'm sure you remember, he was going to sacrifice himself because of his sins before no one else but Alison herself came in to stop him. So it is safe to argue that anything, absolutely anything, that has happened as a result of Cole and his actions in the show is undoubtedly her fault. Well, what about just recently in season two, when Alison could have just prevented the whole war from even starting? but decided to just do nothing. Rhaenyra, the queen of the enemy, the only real danger to Alicent's children and the throne, risked her whole life sneaking into the Red Keep to talk to Alicent. And she wasn't killed or arrested on the spot. What? Why? Sure, at first there's a risk of Alicent getting stabbed. But at the end of the conversation, Alicent just runs off. Why did she not run to inform the guards? I get that she wouldn't want to kill her old friend, but at least arrest her. The whole conversation just established that there will now be a full-blown war. So why not win it right here, right now? Clearly, friendship is off the table now. I mean, if Rhaenyra gets arrested, no one else has to die. But by now, you can probably tell that Alison must enjoy all the suffering that she lets happen. However... Her worst sin is the most simple, and it happened right at the start of the show itself. None of this happens if Alison simply does not entrap the king himself. Now, I know that her father can be blamed for pushing her to do this, but at the end of the day, it was the way she did it that was the problem. She went behind the back of Rhaenyra and gave birth to a competition for the throne. Without Alison, there would be no one trying to overthrow Rhaenyra. Well, maybe Damon, but now we will never know. So, as you can see, Alison is guilty of having caused everything bad that has happened and will still happen in the House of the Dragon. 